Hey guys, it's the Gomez Dilmer again and welcome back to my channel. So today I'm pretty excited because I'm going to continue the videos with AR Foundation. I'm going to be showing you what is required to convert from the standard rendering pipeline to the universal rendering pipeline. I also want to show you what you see behind the scene, which is a video of my first attempt. All you can see is basically the mask of me doing face tracking with a black background. But by applying some fixes, I was able to see the new results that you see behind the scenes. So let's jump into Unity and start working on it. All right, guys, so let me show you what we have to do in order to get the universal rendering pipeline working. I have two videos that I want to show you. The first one is me trying to, you know, make it work without specific changes that we need to make. So you can see that the background is black and it looks cool, but it doesn't really give me the, you know, I can't really see myself or the background correctly. Everything is black. Then on this other video, I got it working. I, I make some changes based on Unity documentation and now you can see everything running on the universal rendering pipeline. I also added a label so that we can, you know, we can identify what the current graphic settings is. And I'm going to show you how to do that. So the first thing that I'm going to do, because I don't want to touch the scenes that I have previously created, I'm just going to clone the UV one. And we're just going to call this one face tracking and we can say universal pipeline. And then the next thing that we need to do is we're going to have to download a couple of packages. So I'm going to go into the package manager. We're going to be downloading the version of Universal. I was using 7.15, but we can use 7.16 since it's being verified to work with 2019.3. So I'm just going to click on install. And this is just going to take a few, you know, few minutes in order to install, probably a few seconds. So I'll just continue as soon as this is done. All right, guys, so it looks like it's finished installing. So let's go ahead and get going. So one of the things that we're going to need to do is we're going to have to apply the new pipeline. And if you notice right now, we're using the standard pipeline. There's really nothing in here that says that we're using universal. Normally, there's a universal component that gets added. So in order to do that, we're going to be adding a couple of components. I'm going to click on assets. We're going to go into create, then click on rendering. And now we're going to have a new option, which is going to be the uni universal rendering pipeline. And we're going to click on, so we have to do two things. We need to add the pipeline asset, which is going to be this one right here. And I'm going to go back and add another one. So we also need to right click in here, go into rendering. And then we also need to do the forward rendering. So, and I'm just going to leave the names in there. Let's go ahead and create a new folder. So we have everything organized. I'm going to put it on the rendering. I'm going to drag the components that we just created and put it on the rendering. The one of the things that I noticed is that the pipeline is creating this one by default. I'm going to de remove the one that is underscore render and I'm going to show you why. This one I'm going to rename to forward rendering and then this one we can just call it and just say AR universal pipeline asset. I think that's fine. So the next thing that you're going to see is that we have a missing component in here. What we're going to do is we're going to drag and drop this one, which is going to be the one used for forward rendering. And that's honestly everything that we need to do in that area. In this other area, if we click on forward rendering, now what we need to do is we need to create what's called a render feature. We're going to click on the add symbol and we're going to add an AR background rendering feature. As soon as we do that, this is going to, you know, it's actually going to work with that pipeline. But before we, we can actually render, in, render the background, which is going to be transparent, we, we have to go into build settings and then go into player settings. And now what we're going to do is we're going to click on graphics. And this is the area where you can change whether you're using universal rendering pipeline or if you're using the high definition rendering pipeline. In our case, we're using universal. So we're going to click on this button and we're going to be adding the AR universal rendering pipeline. So now that has that pipeline selected. And the other thing that we're going to need to do in order to make this work is we also need to convert the materials. And you know that in this video, I was using a material that was actually showing the UVs. So in order to fix that, we're going to have to go into edit and then click on rendering pipeline. And you have two options. You can either, you know, convert all the project materials or you can just convert the, the current material. I'm just going to say upgrade project materials. And it's going to say, you know, Unity is going to give you a warning and it's, uh, it's saying, are you sure that you want to do that? It's going to say, yeah, go ahead and proceed. And now you can see that the you know the materials correct one thing that i normally recommend that you do is just go ahead and test it just to make sure it's going to click on create a new cube we can go ahead and let me go ahead and click on unity in 2d 
And now what I can do is I can just add the material to this, and now you can see that everything is rendering. If it wasn't working, it would show a, a purple color, and, and that means that you haven't converted the material, or the material that you're trying to convert is not compatible. So we're done with that. And the next thing that I want to do, just so that you know that it's working, we're going to go ahead and create a new canvas. So I'm just going to go into UI. We're going to click on Canvas. And I'm going to click on Unity 2D. I keep saying Unity, and, and it's actually just 2D. I don't know why I say Unity. And then the next thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to go into UI, and we're going to create a new text box. So this text box right here. And yep, I'm going to use Text Mesh Pro. So we have to click on Import TMP Essentials, which is going to basically just download everything that we're going to need. Then what I'm going to do here is I'm just going to call it Rendering Info. This is just going to be a text box. And let's go ahead and place it correctly. We can just go ahead and move it up. And I'm also going to be adding a texture. Let's go ahead and add a, a raw image. And this is the image that I'm going to be putting. I just We can just put it right here on the top so that it represents what we, what we did on the demo. And I'm going to change the color of this. We're going to just make it black. And then I'm just going to drag and drop the rendering info to be right there. And let me make sure that this is sized correctly. I'm just going to say a stretch on the middle. And then for the bung, I'm going to be, and not a bung, I keep making mistakes, but for the text box, I'm going to be resizing that correctly. And I'm just going to make it a stretch all the way. And we're going to be centering that as well, and also vertical align it. And what I'm going to do here is I'm just going to say this is going to be, I like to add brackets to placeholders rendering information and it's not going to show these as long as we have a script associated with it i'm going to show you how we do that and i'm also going to be changing the transparency here because i want to be able to see my face or the face that we're trying to track all right so now what we need to do is i'm going to click on assets and let's go ahead and add a new folder which is going to hold all of all the scripts and for some reason i just have a really hard time speaking english today and I guess I always have a hard time. <laughs> so anyway, C Sharp script, and this one is going to be, we're gonna just call it rendering info. And we'll just double click it to open it. And there we go. And okay, so now let me go ahead and go back to, let me go back to here. And I need to add a component, which is gonna be the Text Mesh Pro, but I don't know what the, what the class is. I don't remember because they just added a really ugly class name to it, and I can't really remember all the time. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to make it private. This is going to be the type, and this one is going to be rendering info. And that's what we're going to be using to display the pipeline that we have selected. And then I'm just going to say, yeah, go ahead and bring in the TM Pro namespace. And we don't need to do anything on the update. I don't need to have any comments because we know what star is. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to say, you know, the text is going to be and this is going to be rendering pipeline and we can just display that rendering pipeline i'm going to do my dollar symbol here this one is going to be graphics i think it's graphics settings let me see if that works and no nope, i think it's plural and let me try that again yep it's part of the unity engine rendering and this is going to just give us the current render pipeline and i'm going to just access his name and let me just go ahead and add a space in here and we can probably just put this in one line. We don't need two lines since it's going to be so short. So it's going to use my Lambda here. And let's go ahead and go back into Unity. And we need to add that component to the to the canvas. And click on the canvas. And then click on the Add Component. And this one is just going to be Rendering Info. So let's go ahead and select it. And we also need to make these components serializable. That way we can access it to the through the script, through the inspector. And let's remove the namespaces that we don't need. Let me go ahead and go back. And all we need to do is just associate the new serializable field to the Text Mesh Pro component that I added. And then when I play it right now, it's I don't think it's going to, well, it might show some information, because but it's not going to show the face, right? So it shows us that we have the AR Universal Rendering Pipeline asset selected. And there's one more thing that we need to do before we can make this work. So if you notice, the, the default render right now is set to forward rendering, and I think that's work, that's going to work. I normally been setting it to zero, so you can just set it to zero. I think either one is going to work. I think Unity just does its best to, to find out what, what rendering pipeline you have. So I'm going to just use the forward rendering, 
which is going to be the one that has the transparent background. And this is everything that you need to do to make it work. So if you guys have any questions about, you know, making AR Foundation and Universal Rendering Pipeline work, let me know in the comments. And also make sure that you follow me in social media because it's really going to help me in bringing you a lot more videos. Thank you, guys. All right, guys, thank you much for watching today. I really appreciate your time. And if you have any questions about anything that I just show you, please let me know in the comments. Also, be sure to make sure that you subscribe to the channel because it's really gonna help me in bringing you a lot more videos. If you have additional questions, I'm always available in social media as well. You can find me in Twitter, you can find me in LinkedIn, and also make sure to check out gamedev.net because they have great resources for game developers. And also find me in patreon.com where I'm basically posting what I'm doing behind the scenes and also early access source code. Thank you very much, guys.